Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, just finishing taking my flats from last night's session. The target last night fits the Heavenly Backyard Garden theme. It was the Rosette Nebula. And usually I get the Rosette Nebula as a beautiful rose color. But last night was the first time I was able to use the narrow band filters for the monochrome camera. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. The telescope I used last night was the Orion ED80. That's a 3.1 inch refractor telescope and it's a wonderful scope at that. Size doesn't really matter when it comes to astrophotography, it seems anyway, because I've been getting some great images from this little 3.1 inch or 80 millimeter telescope. Now with this, I added a monochrome camera. It's the ASI 1600MM Pro and this electronic filter wheel and the filter wheel hosts the different colored filters. In this case, an H-alpha, a sulfur-2, and an oxygen-3, and a luminance filter, which is an IR cut filter, and a blank slot if I have uh, just to take a, a, a black and white images. Anyway, uh, this is all controlled through Nina. This is how I control the telescope from inside. This is a mini computer. As you can see, it's temporarily affixed. Uh, I got a, a new system coming in that I'm going to uh, raise the telescope up somewhat. But anyway, uh, this little computer uh, is a full Windows 10 Pro system. And with that, I can network into that or Wi-Fi into that remotely from my desktop upstairs. And from that, I can completely control the telescope. Well, I'm upstairs now, and I can completely control the telescope that's outside from right up here in my office. And I do that with that remote computer attached to the telescope itself. And with that, I was excited to try out the uh, narrow band filters from last night. The first time I really had a chance to use these filters with the new ASI 1600mm Pro camera. And the results came out pretty good. Let me show you some of the uh, results from the uh, session from last night. Now, the way I connect to my remote computer is from inside. Uh, over here I have the um, remote desktop. Well, you could use TeamViewer or any desk, but this works so much better. Uh, remote desktop. I just double click it and it's, I called it Telescope 2. And all I do is connect. And it comes in over here on this monitor and uh, there it is connected already. And then if I want, I can go into Nina and uh, control everything through Nina, which is Nighttime Imaging in Astronomy. It's an open uh, software free distribution they would like a few donations to help them along and that's the right thing to do by the way but anyway here we have load the profile and all i have to do is start loading up my equipment uh, the camera uh, set the temperature uh, the filter wheel which is you need it for the uh, the uh, monochrome camera and the the focuser which is the pegasus uh, load that in the telescope and the guider. We all load those as well. And then we're ready to go and just go into Sky Atlas. Let's say uh, um, the Rosette Nebula, which is what? Uh, NGC uh, 2244, I believe. Let's take a look. And there it is. I'll bring it up over in Framing Assistant. Assistant. And there it is right there that's the the framing on my camera uh, and telescope that i have set up right now and um, this will give me the shot that i want i can change this if i want and then save the results but anyway this is good this is good and then i just go into the sequence and set things up and everything over here is set you change your your uh, uh, number of exposures you want to take the uh, time length in this case would have been 300 seconds uh, you can change the filter there's the ha uh, and so forth and so on and, and just let it rip after that and it takes it all during the um, uh, night automatically. Now let's take a look at some of the examples <sighs> and pick some sight. Here are the three main images I took. The uh, sulfur, 
let's um, stretch that. The um, oxygen three, stretch that out. Now you can see you can see the nebula there nicely. Not so much in the uh, sulfur, but in the um, hydrogen alpha, uh, it comes out very clear. As you can see, a lot of nebulosity, a lot of reds in that in the black and white uh, image uh, scheme of things. But the next thing I want to do is to um, go into the star alignment tool and I'm going to pick the hydrogen alpha as my reference image and I pick on that and hydrogen alpha right there okay and then uh, add the additional views that I want to work with I have the um, uh, rosette oxygen and rosette sulfur right there and go to that and then we go to execute and what this does it aligns everything uh, so that you can stack them clearly and done okay from there I want to go into the um, uh, LRGB combination and click on the, the, the uh, I want to use the Hubble palette. So this is going to be the uh, sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen in the RGB. So in this case, the, um, the uh, red channel I'm going to put is sulfur. Okay. The blue channel, or excuse me, the green channel I'm going to put in the uh, hydrogen alpha. Okay. And then the uh, blue channel I'm going to put in the oxygen three right there. All right, and then I just hit execute. It takes a few seconds here, and then I'll stretch it, and it's going to be a bit on the green side. Uh, first of all, I'll take a nice dark background uh, sample. I think right there is a good one right at that point, and then the uh, white balance portion of it. We'll do this, okay, and then go into um, background neutralization. Uh, select preview one right there okay and execute okay it takes out a lot of that background noise all right and then um, minimize this go back into color calibration uh, go into uh, preview number two that, that's it right there say okay and then down to the neutralization or the background um, select preview number one and there you can see it's mostly black I say okay and then execute okay and there we have it but it's it's a bit on the green side and what we want to do next is to get rid of this green so I want to do a SCNR uh, function in Pixinsight and I just take the default levels values and just execute that and there you can see uh, it turned to that bluish color with the golden edges however it needs to be tweaked a little bit somewhat now here's where you can see my green was off target and uh, I, I have to really redo my subs on my sulfur 2 uh, images and the next clear night I have a chance I'm going to do that and get this fixed there you can see uh, this red blotch over here Look at how that's fading and so forth. That's from the green, because I, um, anyway. Going back, I can highlight this and so forth, and, uh, and, and I did, and let's go into Photoshop uh, after I finish that and give you the results. There's the results right here. Uh, well, there it goes. There it is. And the final image right there. And there you have it, the Rosette Nebula in the Hubble palette. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Now, if you have any comments, feel free to put them uh, below and uh, let me know what you think or not think. Uh, uh, I try to answer all the comments that are presented on my channel. And if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe as well. Now, 
Keep an eye on that southwestern sky over the next several nights as Jupiter and Saturn get closer and closer together. Actually, Jupiter is getting closer to Saturn in appearance in the sky. But remember, the heavens are filled with majestic wonders, all in a sky near you. Unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone. How do you like my poinsettias?